So these bones in the book of Genesis, yes. Joseph told them to commit to do something. Yes. When I die, take these bones yes. to the promised land. Yes, yes Lord. Oh, y'all gonna like this preacher. Take these bones where? To the promised land. Can y'all talk with me a little while? Amen. Take these bones where? To the promised land. Take these bones to the promised land. Yes. I know that you ain't gonna be able to keep up with granddaddy. <laughs> Take these bones to the promised land. Mm -hmm. That was the vow that they made. Yes, Lord. Can I help somebody? Amen. How many years did they have dead bones left? Mm -hmm. 40 years. Dead bones. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you imagine somebody carrying and saying, what that you got? I got, I got Joseph's bones. Yeah. Ain't Joseph dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we committed to take the anointing that's wrong with the conversation that he had with God that when you get to the promised land, make sure you bury my bones there. Yes. Yes. Look what happened. Now y'all gonna like this. That's right. 40 years mm -hmm. in the wilderness with dead bones. Yes, Lord. And in book number two, out of the original that came out of Egypt yes. that made it to the promised land. Amen. Yes, yes Lord. How y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Someone died in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Because of doubt That's right. and unbelief. Right. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And, and there's a transition going on with Christ over the door that you don't understand. But don't you die in the wilderness. Yeah. You got to carry what God told you to bring over here. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. You got to bring your praise. You got to bring your worship. You got to bring your hand clapping. Yeah. One thing we not bring is humility. Yeah. We don't know how to be humble before God. Yes, Lord. And when you learn how to be humble before God, He said, then I will exalt you. Go ahead. Preach. But I'm struggling with this one this morning. Because the devil don't want me to release this one. For 40 years they were in the wilderness. And the Bible said many of them died. All of them died, but two. Out of all the people, let me go the million for I don't know how many, I, don't, I ain't seen the number. Mm -hmm. But it was thousands and thousands and thousands. They got fed water out of a rock. Yeah. They had manna falling out of heaven. Yeah. They got guided with the pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. Yeah. But they died because of unbelief yeah. and doubt. And only two yeah. kept on the promise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And when they get to the place where they get ready to go to the promised land, and they sent them spies out. And some of those came back with an evil report. They said, behold, we saw just what God said we were going to have. We saw the, we saw the milk and the honey. Uh -huh. It was flowing over there. Uh -huh. So, but we got an issue. Come on, somebody. Yeah, we can't make it in now because they got gas in the land. Yeah. The walls are up in everywhere. Are y'all praying with me? We're looking at resistance and we're looking at opposition yeah. in every way that we can see it. And we're not able to go up against these people. In our eyes, in their eyes, we look like grasshoppers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right at the promised land. Uh -huh. Can I help somebody? Yeah. Some of y'all right at y'all promise, but you're looking at the giants in front of you. Your giant issues, oh. your giant problems, your giant circumstances. And the giant is keeping you to get what God promised you. You know my text, son? Don't let your fear and problems stop your faith and promises. Amen. Hallelujah. Mercy, Lord. Hallelujah. It'll stop you. Yes, it will. I was, I was in the store. I was at the London man yesterday watching the globe. I got my grandson, granddaughter, and my wife. Now, y'all see my wife, Mobile. She can't, she can't do what she used to do. I have to recognize that. Mm. Now, we power parking in a handicapped spot. It was like that a month ago. What a difference that they made. Amen. Mm -hmm. One no handicap sign. Mm -hmm. But I got to deal with that. See, your handicap <laughs> might not be today, but your handicap could be tomorrow. Say it good. Say it good. You don't never know when you got to hang your sign mm -hmm. and say, God, I just can't park here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I, I got to go round and round the circle, and I got to find me a parking space. But God, well, nigga, I, let me be your dependency. Let me put a handicap sign on your window. Amen. Well, you don't have to drive around no more. Can I help somebody? Amen. What the difficult is, Pastor, everywhere we go now, we find there are more handicapped people Amen. than there used to be. Amen. We go to handicapped spots, they're full. But y'all gonna light this up. God said the more handicapped you are, the closer you 
your pocket space going to be? Yes. Are y'all hearing me? Y'all not depending on God. God worked it out in the time that Pastor Jack them had to make a move and we were moving in and they were moving out. That was God. Amen. We didn't have to get on the, uh, uh, the GPS and go on the internet and try to find a place. God said, I got a place already waiting on you. But God can't see it because you're looking at things in the natural. You can't see it, but in the Holy Spirit. That's what your pastor been telling you for two weeks and some of us just ain't getting it. Because we're so in the flesh. Come on, somebody. If you want this, you got to get in the spirit realm. You can't get it in the flesh. Because the flesh will deceive you. The flesh will lie to you. The flesh says you can't do it. You can't take it. You can't make it. The flesh says you're sick. You can't get well. You're broke. You can't get no money. Come on, somebody. The flesh will talk to you every day, all day long. And you got to learn that you got to resist the devil. And the Bible says he will be from you. I'm washing clothes. You saw I got two baskets of clothes. I'm washing clothes. And I saw my wife looking at the one. I said, Lord, I sure wish you could help me. I was sweating. <laughs> but I was still washing them clothes. Me and Ty of uh, Chill, whatever, were having a good time at that laundry room. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? Because they come to a place where we got responsibility that we didn't ask for. But when you get that responsibility, don't you deny it, don't you walk away from it, don't you turn away from it, you face the head on. Because there's somebody going to stand still and see the salvation of God. That's right. That's right. All y'all hear me. This is kind of to make the devil mad. I'm going to show him tomorrow. No, brother, you ain't going to show me nothing tomorrow. Because the same God got me today is the same God going to have me tomorrow. Are y'all believing that? Are you trusting God? Are you trusting yourself? Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I knew you were telling me. Well, you were telling me. That was sister in the Lord. Amen, somebody. Amen. See, I'm excited. Bro, Patton, the last two weeks, you have got your daddy excited. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, I, I was sitting on reservation too. Yeah. Amen. Reserve, brother. Yeah. I was sitting there trying to figure out how we're going to do the next thing. God said, you didn't figure out the first thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking to God. God talking to me. The only way you can get a, 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 a conversation with the Holy Spirit, you got to talk to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit will chastise you. He will put you in place and let you know when you're working out of order. Amen. Ain't no something told me. Something told me. That's why you ain't getting nothing. Because something is the one talking to you. You got to give the Holy Spirit its proper name. Say the Holy Ghost. Don't give me a prayer says the Holy Ghost. You don't mind gospel with Susan. You don't mind gospel with Bob. So you should mind gospel with the Holy Ghost. Talk to me, Holy Ghost. I'm tired of hearing about negative stuff and people always put somebody else down. Talk about what they did and what they didn't do. I said, shut up. Let me hear from the Holy Spirit because that's the only one going to lead and guide and direct me into the place that I really need to be. Amen. Can I get a witness? Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Don't, 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 let, don't let your fear and problems mm -hmm. stop yes. your faith in the promise. Because yes. it. it'll pull you back, man. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. I was grabbing one car, and I'm grabbing two cars. Why? Because my wife can't drive the way she used to. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. wait till she get up under the sternal wheel. Take your children to school. Go to the London man. Go to the grocery store. Now I see the responsibility that she was having. Right now. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. See, sometimes you don't know the responsibility of other people until you got to do it yourself. Yeah. Now you got to cook. Now you got to boil the eggs. Now you got to boil the weenie. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Now you got to cut up the pizza. Y'all not hearing me. Now you to make up the salad. You see what I've been going through? Sometimes you don't know why the food tastes good until you know I got to cook. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you cook, you be like, that don't taste like hook food. You know what? Because you ain't changed what they need it. <laughs> but you, hey, as long as they get a burp, I'm good. Okay. Hey, Amen. As long as I see Elijah eat two plates, the amount of one, I'm good. Are yeah. y'all hear me? Amen. These are my grandchildren. Even that I asked for, I remember this now. When I married Marisha, I married her with three children. Uh -huh. They were one, three, and five. I took them all as my children. Some people wonder why I do what I do because I made a commitment. Yeah. Are y'all hear yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. My commitment not just to her. I want a hug, but for me to get her, I had to get them them, them prom snacks too. <laughs> y'all scared to tell the truth? Yeah. I had to get everything. I mean, I had to get.
get the washing powder, I get the soap, the dial soap, come on somebody, the toilet paper. You got everything comes with it. You don't get nothing free. And the only way that you're going to get what God wants you to have, then you got to say, God, whatever the accessory to you, let it come on. So you're going to have some problems, you're going to have some trials, and you're going to have some tribulation, you're going to have some suffering, because you say, I want to come unto the Lord. Come unto me, all you, a burden and heavy laden, and I'll give you a rest. You ain't going to have no rest nowhere but in God. Are you hearing me? Sometimes you and your daddy can't rest. You be tossing and turning and sweating. Come on, somebody. You say you feel like a devil was on me last night. Boy, you know there are spirits that walk in the nighttime, too. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Sometimes y'all see a spirit, y'all call it a hate, but that's a devil. Yes. <laughs> Trying to confuse you and make you feel less than what you're supposed to. Yes. I told him on the prayer line, this is God never true. I was in one room and she would come out of the bedroom and the, and the refrigerator door just slam. Wham! And I said to Mary, I said, would you? Now, I just come out of the room. That door just slammed. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all don't have to believe this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, you're going to get that, yeah. you're going to get that experience. Mm -hmm. oh, then you're yeah. going to say, Mr. Short told me so. Mm -hmm. Spirit wars are real. Yes, yes. Demons are real. Yes. Devils are real. Yes. Some of y'all work with devils. Yes. 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 Y'all been to the restaurant and a devil was on your waitress? Yes. What can I help you with? <laughs> That be two, I won. You like, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. And I, and, am I telling the truth, y'all? Some people don't have no kind. They don't even need the apron on. Yeah. Amen. Y'all ought to snack that book out their hands. But let me serve you. Oh, yeah. y'all hear me? Yeah. Even that mom, sometimes people, they don't even speak to you. Rim. Yeah. Rim. Good morning. Rim. Yeah. Oh, y'all hear me? It's not going to get better. Are y'all hearing me? It's going to get worse. Yes. After a while, you are nothing but a statistic. Right. Yes. Nothing but a number. Yes. Right. I don't care how much you cry and talk about how bad it is. It ain't going to move their heart. Amen. The only way it's going to move their heart, they got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. And if they ain't saved, come on, somebody. Yes. They ain't sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, so you might as well get over it. Tell yes. it. Yes. 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 I'm almost filled. So here go the promise. The promise is take my bone. Boy, they missed it. If they only knew what we promised Joseph, God was with him, wasn't he? Yes, yes. Everything Joseph did, the Bible said, and God was with him. Yes, yes. Oh, y'all missed this up. Amen. When he got in the pit, God was with him. Yes. When he went into the fire house, God was with him. Yes. When he went into the battle, God was with him. So if God was with him when he's living, God got to be with him when he did. Amen. 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 Okay, let me help somebody. If God not going to be with him when he's dead, how God going to say, well done, that good and faithful servant? Because you're going to die. Amen. That's right. If you're dead. God know you when you're dead. Are y'all hearing me? He know. Somebody say he knows you. See, y'all y'all don't want to see it like that because you ain't got that kind of mindset. Hallelujah. Okay. When he told Joe, uh, the, the devil, when he came in about uh, Joe, he said, he said, have that consider my servant Joe. My servant Joe. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. There's none like him in all these. That's right. Oh, come on, somebody. That's right. God know your resume. He know where you stay. He know how much in your bank account. That's right. Yeah. When you don't give God his 10%, when well, your, your, your offering, God knows you took back some of the money. Uh -huh. Come on, I'm going to give to God the best I got. You ain't gave it all to him. Uh -huh. Because he gave you a dime. You let me have a, a 90 cent out of a dime. And you should have a problem with giving him a dime. Amen. Why y'all get quiet now? Because this kind of preacher will make you better than what you are. Amen. Listen, I don't get nothing but a little bit of a source of income. But I make sure, one thing I want to make sure is I pay my tithe to this church. Amen. Come on. $90 means something to me. How y'all hearing me? Right. I, I, it means something to y'all too. Amen. But it can be faithful. And I'm not saying if you don't pay your tithe, you're going to hell. I know. Because I thought people teach that. And I'm not saying give your, your, your light bill, man. I'm not saying give your house no. But I'm saying if you give God what he's supposed to get, he will bless you going out and he'll bless you coming in. Yes. 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 